Hey guys, uh, my name is Vijay Kumar Waka. I'm working as Senior Solution Consultant in Episero. Okay, in this uh, session, we'll be discussing about Mule Default Error Handler. Okay, so what is that? Uh, we have been discussing about uh, flow level error handling, okay, and also global error handling this way, right? Okay, so what is uh, Mule Default Error Handler? Before we uh, go into the uh, session, if you haven't gone through any of the uh, error handling uh, videos, please go through my channel that is Mule for All and also go through this playlist error handling. So I have already created four videos on that. Okay, please go through all of them and then go ahead with the with this current uh, session. Okay, so Mule default error handler is something uh, which will not be able to see that directly. Okay. So, if we go through about this documentation, so if you see here, using default error handling for messages. So, if you see in this example, we have only HTTP listener and HTTP request. Okay. So, from this thing, we are getting some issue, right? And there is nothing in the error handling section. So, what will happen in this scenario? So, we have nothing in the error handling section at the flow level and also Let's assume we don't have any global error handler also in this particular project. In that case, okay, what will happen? The error will be given as an input to the mule default error handler. Okay, so this is something which we will be not able to see, or it will be like in in inbuilt actually. Okay, so so mule has to handle something uh, which we are uh, not going to handle, right? So someone has to handle. So we are working, uh, we are creating the flows on Mule, so it has to handle if you are not going to handle any error. Okay, for example, in your flow, if you are not putting anything in the error handling section, then who who has to handle that error? That is nothing but the Mule uh, error handler should handle that error, right? So that is why it will be there by default, okay, and we will be not able to see that, okay, and uh, what we'll have inside that, whether it is on error container or on error propagate, it is by default on error propagate. That is what you have to remember in, inside the mule default error handler. Okay. Now, so we'll be discussing about uh, uh, mule default error handler as well as a bit about global error handler. Okay. In, in a combination. Okay. Now, in this flow, what I did. Again, I have added global error handler configuration. Click on edit. Okay, I have chosen global error handler, which I have created in a mule separate mule configuration file. That is nothing but this. So what I did here, we are getting some error like uh, ABC colon error occurred, right? This is the custom error we have created in this flow. And that is where we'll be getting an, an error out of uh, our request, I mean, when we send the request, this, this is the origin point where we'll be getting the error. That is clear. Now what will happen? So we'll be getting an issue here, right? So it will check here in, if there is something in the flow level or not. So what I did, I have kept another error type. So which, which will be not matching with the custom error type that we have created here, right? So in this case, um, what will happen? That thing we'll see. So I have configured something here, but the error type is not matching. So what will happen? So be before we go into the demo, we'll see this. Okay. So first of all, it will check. Okay, flow level error handling. If it is there or not. Okay. If it is if it is there. Okay. Then it will check whether the error type is matching or not. Okay. So if it is matched based upon honor continue or honor propagate. It will proceed ahead okay if not matched okay it will go to the default error handler okay so it will go to the default error handler so here a question arises why it will uh, go to mule default error handler but not to the global error handler okay so so that is what we'll see okay so let me send a sample file or I mean let me send a sample request to this flow so click on send. It is uh, already deployed in a debug mode. So let me click on next. 
okay it has come to the uh, the first child flow click on next next now it is in the uh, third flow okay let me click on next now if you see here this uh, this will raise an error okay let me click on next so it has raised an error right so if i click next processor what will happen it will not go to the default error handler see though i am i have configured something uh, in the on error continue section uh, though the error type is matching abc colon error occurred right so this is matching with the custom error what we have created on the rise error abc colon error has error occurred but it will not go to the global error handler okay let me click on next why because this is the key point we have to remember when we are working with the error handling in mule 4 so why it will not go to the global error handler though we have configured and though it is matching the error type is matching in the global error handler section why it is why it will not go there because the control will come to global error handler if and only if there is nothing in this error handling part okay so whether the error is handled or error type is matched with the error handling section of the corresponding flow whether it is matching or not matching it doesn't matter okay if you put something and it is not matching it's it's enough that's enough actually so that uh, the control will not go to global and it will be sent to the mule default error handler okay so global will come global error handler will only come into the picture if nothing is there in the error handling part of uh, where the error has been reason okay so let's iterate uh, this point once more that so when global error handler will come into the picture only if nothing is there in the error handling part where the error is being reason okay this is the point you have to remember so this will this will think that okay you, you took the responsibility to handle the error and you are not able to do that so i can't do anything in this scenario so give the control to mule default error handler this is how it behaves okay so that is the reason the error control has gone to mule default error handler and by default it is an on error propagate right as we have discussed okay in mule default error handling section by default it is on error propagate okay so that is the reason it it is being propagated to the parent flow okay so uh, that is the reason we could see error here still okay let me click next so see now what happened here uh, error has occurred right in the uh, second flow and it checks if there is anything in the error handling part there is nothing now it will check for global error handler okay now global error handler will take the responsibility because there is nothing here it is empty in the error handling so here again the error type has been propagated right abc colon error occurred so that is the whenever the error has uh, given or thrown back to the parent flow it checked if there is anything in the error handling section if nothing it has gone the control has gone to the global error handler and here in in this thing we we have configured on error continue and that is where the error uh, type is matched okay matching okay so that is the reason this will be executed so let me click on next so from this thing so that means from this the control has gone to global and it is a success scenario from there and uh, what happens it will uh, send the control back to the parent flow okay this flow okay so it is a success scenario right to this flow that is the reason this logger is getting executed and there is this will not come into the picture at all because there is no error in this flow okay so let me click on next so now it is a 200 uh, success response see we have already almost uh, gone through the flow uh, in the debug mode for uh, four plus minutes okay so this is how uh, i mean mule default error handler will work okay 
and also we have also discussed something about a global error handler as well like it we have discussed a, com a combination of mule default error handler and um, global error handler okay in this session so i hope you like this video you practice these things in a different ways or uh, with uh, different permutation combinations okay then only you'll be getting clear picture uh, from the error handling concept okay so unless until you practice it it you will not be able to understand it okay you have to do uh, practicing for twice thrice or maybe more it, it all depends upon uh, your capability or how you, how quickly you can understand okay so i am left with one more uh, session on this error handling which i'll be covering in the next session and I, and i hope you like this video thank you so much for listening to my video and please subscribe and share in in your network thank you